We are a far cry from Revengeance in MGS2, and Raiden's flip is somewhat stiff here. The game will kind of auto-adjust your position when you're jumping over ledges, which it doesn't do when you're flipping over solid ground, so play with it a bit to get a sense for how that works. We're skipping some cutscenes here that feature the directional microphone, and I'm on my way to grab the Nikita missile launcher to knock out the unit that supplies power to the electric floor. This is a good place to restock on some M9 ammo and some chaff grenades. There's also an M4 assault rifle, which we really don't need in a big boss playthrough, but it serves a broader function of feeding the compulsion to casually hoard every possible scrap, castaway, or atom for the sole purpose of buffering the perceiver against the surety of death. Think of these as building blocks that we use to construct an obstacle wall to, um, to kind of block the line of sight between our temporary vantage point and the horizon arc of Annihilation. I use them to greatest effect in my game. I use them to greatest effect by cycling attention from one to the other as soon as my glint-eyed fascination turns into the thousand-yard stare, indicating that my eyes are instinctively refocusing on that horizon arc that we can't see but you know also can't deny. That takes experience, along with artfully applying just the right amount of denial at the right time. So, you know, don't get discouraged. Uh, giving up is just what they want.